Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to my session in InnerSource Summit 2024. My name is Takeshi Yaigashi, Technical Director at Bandai Namco Studios. Today, I will be discussing the implementation of all inclusive InnerSource platforms tailored for large enterprises. First, let me explain the change of the title. Maybe you noticed that I changed the slide deck. I, I changed the title of slide deck. The original one was implementing an all-inclusive inner source portal for large enterprises. Initially, I planned to focus just on an in, inner source portal, but later I realized that what we truly need are comprehensive platforms. These platforms not only include portals, but also provide a Collabor collaborative environment open to all potential inner source contributors within our organization. In this session, I will cover uh, inner source plat platform engineering, which includes the requirements and implementations of inner source platforms. Then the specific challenges faced by large enterprises and the rest uh, the proposed solutions and mitigations for the Bandai Namco group. Before diving in, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Takeshi Aigashi, the technical director at Bandai Namco Studios. I'm honored to be recognized as a Microsoft MVP for Microsoft Azure for both 2023 and 2024. My primary responsibility as an infrastructure engineer includes uh, promoting the, uh, the adoption of cloud services among our internal developers and also include focusing on from platform engineering for video game development. Okay, let's talk about inner source platforms. In today's world, in, in today's world, uh, open source software development heavily relies on collaboration platforms. What exactly are collaboration platforms? We can consider uh, Git and GitHub as the primary examples, the de facto standards of collaboration platforms in the, in, in the industry. Alongside them, we have other popular platforms like GitHub, Azure DevOps, Bitbucket, Gitty, and so on. Inner source is based on open source principles and its practices assume the use of specific collaboration platforms. For example, in Git and GitHub terminology, we use concepts like forks, pull requests, readme.md, and contributing.md. So implementing an inner source platform includes setting up a collaboration platform tailored specifically for your organization. This is where inner source platform engineering comes into play. Now, let's discuss how to implement inner source platforms. The book, uh, Managing Inner Source Projects, provides a comprehensive overview of this topic. It offers Recommended strategies. Uh, it offers recommended strategies and configurations for using GitHub as an inner source dedicated environment. There are some common assumptions about inner source platform platform implementations. Typically, it's assumed that a collaboration platform, specifically a GitHub-like platform, already exists within the organization and assumed that uh, all, pro all potential contributors to inner source have access to this platform. However, large enterprises often face unique challenges. These common assumptions may not always be applicable, requiring tailored solutions to effectively implement inner source practices. Now let's look at some of those challenges. One major issue is that no single platform can cover all potential inner source contributors within the enterprise. 
that leading to fragmentation, fragmentation of collaboration platforms. Different projects often adopt separate collaboration platforms, such as GitHub, GitLab, and Azure DevOps. And access to paid collaboration platforms, platforms is often restricted to specific professionals, such as engineers, leaving other roles without access. Why does this happen? There are specific reasons for large enterprises, in, including their size, history, and financial constraints. For instance, many SaaS providers charge, charge per user, like GitHub Enterprise at 21, $21 US dollars per user per month. This makes unifying collaboration platforms difficult, especially when it involves migrating existing projects. Why is this fragmentation considered harmful? Uh, fragmented, co fragmented collaboration platforms create information silos, and platforms that are accessible only to a limited number of users tend to be avoided. And most importantly, Successful inner source initiatives benefit from the broadest possible participation. Ideally, all employees should have access to collaboration platforms, regardless of roles, not only engineers, for example. Here's another example of challenges. In large enterprises, we often face multi-layered access scope requirements with different levels of visibility control, such as an enterprise-wide, corporate-specific, or project-specific access. To, man to manage this, our, collabor our collaboration platforms need fine-grained fine, need fine access control, often based on central organization databases. For example, you can use Microsoft Entra ID groups to define, define user affiliations and access scopes accurately. Next, let's look at some solutions and mitigations for, the, for those challenges. I propose an inner source platform with two key services. The first one is the, in, the inner source collaboration platform. It's an alternative co collaboration platform to break down information silos in, in existing ones. It's also equipped with Git repository mirroring feature, but it's optional to use. The second one is the inner source portal. It offers a catalog of, project, catalog of projects hosted on this platform. For large enterprises, we have specific requirements. We prefer self-hosted open source software to avoid user proportional costs. The platform must be universally available to accommod accommodate all potential contributors within the enterprise. Lastly, it should be support fine-grained access control, granting or denying access, uh, deny, denying access based on user affiliations. Next, I will talk about inner source platform engineering for our uh, Bandai, Namco, Bandai Namco group. Our inner source platform comprises three key components. First, GT an open source software for self-hosted inner source collaboration platforms. Next, Backstage, an open source software for self-hosted inner source portals that provide inner source cat catalogs and tech docs. Last, Microsoft Entra ID, formerly known as Azure AD, which, serve, which serves as an ID identity as a service for user authentication, defining user affiliation groups, and supporting external guests. We are, go we are going to provide users with a golden pass to run our inner source platform, offering it as a service 
offering it as a service within the enterprise. This approach delivers a platform instance for each organization within the enterprise tailored to their preferred visibility scope. Uh, visibility scope. This setup, uh, this setup en ensures that each team can effectively collaborate and manage their project while maintaining the necessar necessary security and access control. Let's have a brief look at each component of our inner source platform. First, uh, it's a Gitty as an inner source collaboration platform. Gitty is an open source software that provides a self-hosted GitHub-like environment. It's written in Go language, making it lightweight and easy to maintain. User and group provisioning can be integrated with Microsoft Entra ID. One of Gitty's standard feature is its Git repository mirroring, which automatically synchronize, synchronize with repositories on other collaboration platforms. The user-friendly GUI allows for easy self-service management of those, uh, these mirrors. Next, let's see Backstage as an inner source portal. Backstage is an open source framework designed for building developer portals. It offers extensive integrations with various platforms, including Gitty, and it also supports user and group provisioning through Microsoft Entra ID. Key features include Software, software catalog, which use, uh, which use specific YAML files in the repositories to describe each project. And tech docs, which, which detects and renders MK docs documentation with, within repositories. These features make Backstage an ideal choice for implementing inner source portals. Let's see the benefits of adopting those open source products for inner source platforms. There are no per user licensing costs, allowing every user within the, enter within the enterprise to have access. And it provides an inner source specific indep independent platform with the appropriate visibility. One of the key advantages is the simplified and self-service configuration for backstage integrations. Administrators no longer need to maintain integrations with each collaboration platform individually. A single integration with Gitty is sufficient. Developers can easily set up rep repository mirroring from their original collaboration platform themselves using Gitty. Our solution incorpor incorporates two key approaches from managing inner source projects. Inner source catalogs using backstage and uh, inner source catalogs using backstage and a dedicated GitHub organization for inner source through Gitty. So these tools help make inner source projects more visible within the organization. However, while visibility is improved, access issue remains unresolved. Developers face two main options. Uh, they can either uh, promote inner source activities using Gitty which may differ from the original collaboration platform. Or they can recruit contributors who appeared on Gitty on, on the uh, who appeared on Gitty uh, to the original platform. In summary, while our solution enhances project visibility, it does not fully address access, access challenges, leaving room for further improvement. This is the last slide. Currently, we are focused on inner source platform engineering, 
This involves developing and verifying blueprints using Git, Backstage, and Microsoft Enter ID. We are also deploying test testing instances of the proposed platform for large enterprises. Looking ahead, we plan to provide inner source platform as a service within our organization. This will enable each organization within the group to run its own inner source platform with preferred visibility scopes. scopes. We aim to launch the beta service by the end of 2024. Additionally, we will develop missing features and contribute to upstream open source projects. For Gitty, we will enhance, suppo enhance support for cloud native, scalable, and secure deployments required by large enterprises. For Backstage, we will implement discovery features in the Gitty integration. In conclusion, we are just beginning we are just beginning to explore inner source platform engineering within the Bandai Namco group, and we plan to conduct solo testing in the, in the near future. We look forward to sharing our progress with you as we continue on this journey. Thank you for your attention.